everyone. So I am back from my scrapbooking crop. I got 14 layouts done, which isn't a huge amount, but I had tons and tons of fun, so I do not really care. So I'm going to bring you a little layout share, and then I did kill my Scraptastic kit for January, so I will show you what I have left over from that kit. So just quickly, I'm going to go through my layouts. I did 11 layouts using my Scraptastic kit plus my counterfeit add-on, and then I did three more layouts from the summer kit I put together. So let me show you those first. Actually, they're right over here. So I have this one, and I believe this is a scrap, uh, scraptastic, hello, a Studio Calico piece of paper. And this is just about my niece and her friend, and they tried to fit, when they were younger, this is up at the Yankee Candle store in Deerfield, Mass. And when they were younger, they, they were able to sit in this chair together. Of course, now they're teenagers and they cannot do that, but they decided to try. So we have that one. And they have this one. I don't know if you can see, but my cat is sitting on the edge of the sunspot here. So my title is, Please Could We Share the Sunspot? Very cute. I used some of this glitter washi from Freckled Fawn. And I had purchased a Freckled Fawn kit on clearance. And I mentioned that in my last video when I was talking about packing up. So I actually used quite a bit um, and these, this heart is also, uh, they had a washi sheet of paper, so you could like, instead of uh, washi on a roll, it was like the booklets, but it was just a single piece. It wasn't like a full booklet. Okay. And the last one I did from this one is these pictures from the beach last summer. And the same thing, you can notice a lot of the similar things on the layout. These cameras are so cute. They're acrylic, but they have white on the back, so they're not super translucent. Okay. And these are the ones I made with the Scraptastic kit and then my add-on. I'm going to have to find something. Because I have texture paste under here, it doesn't want to stick. But I find if I use uh, a pop-up dot, it tends to stick there. So hopefully that will work. Because none of my glues like to stick to, to texture paste. That's why I usually end up popping stuff up on top of it. So this uses, uh, from my kit, the, I think it's photo paper play or photo play paper, I don't remember, uh, from the Just a Girl line. And then what I did was, this was actually the first one I started, I'm very sorry, my cat has found a bell and she is enjoying it immensely. So, um, what I did was, uh, this today is from the Cedar Lane line from Pink Paisley, and that was not part of the Scraptastic kit. You could purchase it separately, and I did because I just thought they were super pretty, and they've got pink foam. I don't know if you can see that or not, underneath instead of white foam, so it's really cute. So, what I ended up doing was I didn't want to, I used a circle punch to cut all these circles out, but I didn't want to start from the edges. So I cut out the centers of several of my 12 by 12 pattern papers and then use the circle punch from the center. Here we go, another one. Rather than miss being able to use these as borders. So that's how I was able to do this even though it was one of my first layouts that I did. Okay, and here's another one and this is using a color I don't normally use, uh, yellow. I don't usually use a lot of yellow, but the coloring of the photos and having so much yellow in the kit just made me want to use it like this. So this one is oddly named, I know, Musical Chairs, The Deadliest Game. Uh, my niece uh, actually broke her arm. This is actually before she had her surgery, and she's explaining how she broke her arm playing musical chairs. Uh, she dove for a chair that no one was fighting her over, slid off the chair, and managed to fall in the exact wrong way to get a very serious break. So there's that one. And this one 
has two photos. So I, I actually did 11 layouts from this kit, six with single photos, and then five with two or more photos. So this is a picture of my niece did crew in the fall, and this was at her first regatta, and this is actually right after she finished the boat. Uh, now, I happen to know she's the girl in blue right there, so I know no one else will know that, but hopefully her, she'll be able to point that out to her children or grandchildren or whatnot. And then I have this one, and this is from my, this pattern paper is from my counterfeit kit, and it's wasn't the one I had planned to use. I'm going to flip this over. This is the side I thought I'd use, because this is definitely more me. But this just kind of fit with the layout. And then I actually borrowed, well borrowed, I, she let me have these thickers and stickers, Colleen from the crop, because I needed a smaller teal one and I didn't have any. And I didn't have any small black ones either, because I don't know why I didn't have them, I just didn't. But she's very kind enough to lend, well, to give them to me. And this is, we dressed the cat up and she was not appreciative of that fact. Okay, so this is another one where I did a nice mix of my Scraptastic kit and my counterfeit add-on. So the word, the die cut, the acrylic piece are all from uh, this pattern paper. And I think that's it are all from my Scraptastic kit, and then the pattern paper, the cut apart, uh, the fonts and stuff like that are all from my counterfeit kit. Now, like, part of this is the Cedar Lane Pink Paisley foam words that I bought from Scraptastic but weren't actually part of the kit. So this one happens to be about uh, my niece trying a pumpkin spice latte for the first time. So my title is Share the P.S. Love, so P.S.L. Pumpkin Spice Latte. Plan words. I like to do that a lot with my titles. I, I do a lot of plays on words. I know that. Okay. And here is another one using paper from the kit. This is mainly the kit. The only thing that is not from the kit actually is the second second part of my title and the enamel dots. Oh, and then these came from Scraptastic, but not the kit. Everything else comes from the kit in this particular layout. And this is a selfie we took right after she got contacts. She was so excited because she could wear sunglasses and see. <laughs> and I was having a good hair day, which for me is a, a reason to celebrate. So it's called a celebratory selfie. All right, here is a picture that my niece actually took at lunchtime, and that's her friend who, and they're, uh, this is something she put up on Instagram. She's like, lunch, the best time of the day. So I just thought that was cute, so I asked her to send me the photo. Now I did a kind of interesting thing here. Okay, first, I actually used my roller date stamp. I actually used it twice. I'll show you the other time. I was super excited because I don't usually do that. Uh, for Christmas, I got this, the Molotow, Molotow Graphics Art Masking Liquid. And and by I, I had asked for it. I wanted to try it. So what I did was I drew stars on the cardstock, and then I used the packaging technique with my Distress Inks in Abandoned Coral and cracked pistachio and then I rubbed the masking fluid off so you get stars in the packaging and I thought that turned out super super cool. I have horrible handwriting but I might actually like like maybe write some things and see if I can get the same effect for like a script look. So I was super excited that that worked. It did warp quite a bit. I ended up putting up chipboard on the back side just to uh, stop some of the warping, but you know, once it gets in a page protector for a while, it should be fine. And I didn't think I was going to use these plastic gems that were in the kit. I have another one here, but I actually ended up using them all. I found that if you tuck them under stuff, they are great grounding for layers, but 
you know, on their own, it was kind of, they're kind of weird looking for me, but I did end up using them all. So I was happy with myself. These are more photos taken by my niece. They had gone on a walking tour of the historic buildings in downtown Hartford. So I have to get the date and I will use my roller date stamp once again for that. And I also, look, look, people, I used washi tape. Dude, are you serious? I actually used washi tape twice. I was super, super excited. So that one, and this is using a piece of paper from the Journey, Le Journey Collection from Crate Paper that was part of my add-on kit that I put together. And here's my kitty Xanthi when she's pretty. I swear, all the animals are asleep until I start doing this and then they all wake up and go nut bar. So these puffy stickers are from Studio Calico. They are part of a kit I bought on clearance and I find with Studio Calico, I like their stuff, just not particularly in the kits that they put together. I like them more broken up. These die cuts are from my Scraptastic kit along with all of the paper is from the Scraptastic kit. This is documentary, and then this is the photo play, photo play paper or photo paper play, whatever it's called, uh, from the Just a Girl line. So the only thing not from my kit would be this Alex font, and then the puffy stickers and the silver puffy stickers from the Cedar Lane Pink Paisley. Okay, so the last two layouts I did from the kit, I actually did in tandem, because you'll see I didn't actually have a full piece of cardstock left, but if I had just used this black and white stripe, I wanted to pull in the pink to this page, and I wouldn't have been able to do that. So I made a, a half and half layout where I, I glued these two pieces together at 12 by 12. And you'll see here is where I used washi tape again. And I did the trick where you rip the washi tape in half and it gives it like a very cool look. And I was very happy with this. It turned out really, really nice. And I just realized though, I did do this cardstock backwards. This is the back side. It's fine. I'm not going to freak out over it. I use a lot of stars and yeah, it looks really cute. What's really funny about this, and here's where I use my roller date stamp again. It's actually Christmas Day on Long Island Sound and they're sitting outside for the ferry. You have to understand that's completely unheard of. If you don't know, um, in New England we had a really warm Christmas so uh, the fact that they're able to sit outside on the ferry on Christmas Day, they were, they, she actually texted me. She's like, we are sitting outside. I can't believe it. Okay, so here's my final layout. And this is my niece's 15th birthday. So my title is Smile and Enjoy 15. And I used a lot of stuff from my kit and quite a few things from my counterfeit add-on kit. So I was, this is another one where it's a really good mix of add-on and regular. Okay. So those are my layouts. And now let's see what is left. Okay. So now let's see what I made it through. So what I'll start with is stuff that didn't come in my kit, but I purchased it from Scraptastic. And those are these Maggie Holmes Glitter Stars Hearts and Circles. I did use quite a few of those, but there were a ton, so there was no way I was going to get through. I also used quite a few of these puffy words that came as an exclusive from Pink Fresh Studios. And, of course, I can use these with anything. And then I used quite a bit of these uh, thickers from Cedar Lane. Uh, these are so huge, though. I, I did... It's so hard to tell on the internet how big these are. I did use the word love and that was Lee. So I don't know if I'll actually ever get a chance to use that, but uh, I do still have quite a few hearts and arrows and stuff like that. So definitely still usable besides just the words. Now let's see what I have left of my kit. 
first let's go through what I used up. I only have this, this, and this for my pattern paper, and I'm not going to keep any of that. I just that I don't think that's I'm gonna be able to use that. I will keep this insert I have of cardstock. It's aqua, so it'll be good for uh, bordering photos. I couldn't think of the words photos. And then I do have this one branding strip left from the documentary piece, and I am going to keep that. I think the aqua polka dots are very usable, so I don't have any problem keeping that. And then I have two of the acetate words left. I actually used six of them. I was very happy with that because I usually find acetate stuff hard to work with. I did not use this week's, this month's stencil. I don't not like it. It just didn't work out with any of my things. If there's one thing I would wish, it's that they would, there's a paper in the add-on kit that has this star pattern on it. I really wish they would choose symbols from the main kit since not everyone gets the add-on kit. And so then if you don't get the add-on kit, you don't necessarily have this to work with. This is not the first time they've used a pattern from the add-on kit as their stencil. It's just, you know, it's not wasn't gonna work with for me this time. I used all of the flare. I also used all of the vellum brushes. Um, Let's see if I can find, so you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, here we go, I think, yeah. So they were like brush strokes, the vellum, there's a yellow, there's a blue, and there was this uh, reddish one. All of the circular, oh, all of the wood veneer bows. I was very pleased about that because I don't usually use a lot of bows. All of the acrylic pieces, which, let me find one. I know where I have one. Here we go. These were super fun. I actually had to stop myself. I used them like on the first two layouts I did. And I was like, okay, pace yourself, sweetie. Pace yourself. Save, save it just in case you really want it for a, a future one. So but those are really awesome. I like those a lot. And I also used up all of the acetate. What were the acetate things? I don't remember, but I wrote acetate, so I assume I used something up. I only have a few of the, oh, the acetate gems. That's what I'm talking about. Hello. Um, I only have three of the die cuts left, and I will be totally honest, I do not like these two at all. I don't think they're well designed. I don't know where I would use them. I'm going to keep this one, and I'll just add it to my die cut box, but honestly, I'm just gonna recycle these. I I don't, I liked a lot of them. I did not like these at all. I'll be totally honest. Okay, and then all I have left. Now, I already had the hardcover thickers. I used them a lot going through the kit, but I only used one, two, three letters from the actual new ones. But I'm just going to add this to where I keep my my black, I keep like some black thickers right here just because they're super basic. And that is what I will use for that. Now on to my add-on kit. My dog is going insane. I have these two pieces of paper left and then some pieces from my cut apart that I'm gonna toss, that I'm going to toss. This I will keep, this I will toss. And this I will keep because I might, even if I don't like the dice, I can always just like float a smaller photo slightly over it and it's just a black border. So I apologize. Oh my goodness, Sadie, you are being so rude. And these are the aqua, so I thought they'd be pretty usable to like edge a layout or something. So I thought I'd keep those at least for a little bit. I have the mini alpha I'd added. I used quite a bit of these basic gray b-side stickers at least more than half so i'm super happy with that i used up all of these acetate 
circles. I used up all of these vellum stars, and these were from uh, Seven Paper or Studio Calico, I don't remember which. I used up almost all of these die cuts, so they'll just go into my little die cut thing. I used up quite a few of my enamel dots that I had added. These were enamel dots as well. I did not use these word stickers at all. They just didn't work with the layouts I ended up doing. And I used up quite a few of these diamond puffy stickers. And my friend Colleen bought me these. How cute is she and how awesome are these? Or, you know, you can do vice versa. How cute, how awesome is she and how cute are these? These were a exclusive from Scraptastic. And I was being very good and not buying extra things. So she bought these for me and gave them to me at the crop I'd had. All right. So that is it. My layouts, my killer kits. And I'm sorry, San San Sadie actually is being obnoxious this time instead of Xanthi. I will be back. Obviously, there are going to be no videos for my January Scraptastic kit, but I did put together that summer kit, and I will have videos for that. So I will see y'all coming up over the next month. I'll also have my new counterfeit choices for the month of February. Really excited because we're getting uh, Maggie Holmes Bloom in that kit, so yay. And I did go ahead and buy some Maggie Holmes Bloom. I wasn't going to buy the add-on because I didn't want to spend that much money just to get the fringed hearts, but I needed those fringed hearts. It it was necessary. So <laughs> I will be adding that to my counterfeit kit. All right, folks. Have a great day, everyone. This is going to be ridiculously long. I apologize for that. If you got all the way through, you could flick me a thumbs up. That would be super awesome to let YouTube know that you like what I'm doing. Have a great day, everyone, and bye!